Hey, hey guys. guys. <laughs> Welcome back. Sorry, I got a jelly bean in my mouth. In <laughs> yeah. honor of the Easter crap. Yeah, we've been sitting here uh, munching on some jelly beans. So we're going to wait a few minutes, let everybody get in, and I'm going to get in there on my system. So how's everybody been? Can't, hey, we got somebody in. Can't believe the weather. Hey, dog. I'm Melissa. You're always here. You're so sweet. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> That's Jennifer Mabry. Hi. And Stevie Eastman. Hey, awesome. guys. Okay, we're trying to get in there so we can look at comments. I again stuff. apologize. I just put a jelly bean in my mouth when Hanny hit the go live button. <laughs> Melissa said hello, and Jennifer Mabry said hello, family. Hello, hey, hello. Guys. How Glad was everybody doing? Yeah. Can't believe this weather today. We have our doors open here, guys. Yeah. Our doors are open, letting our house breathe. It and it's still super warm in here. Yeah. And I have the overhead ceiling fan going in the living room, but it's gonna be good. Annie said hey, and Dad said. Hey, hey guys. guys. Hey, bro. Uh, is that Steven? Steve's here. Hey, Steven. Me, Remy, and Iris. Who's Iris? Yeah, who is Iris, Steven? By the way, we have Remy's bowl. You have Remy's bowl from the beach. Is that Patrick's oh. do uh, dog? <laughs> Melissa said they're doing good. Hey, Joel. How are we, guys? So, we're doing good, too. We're enjoying the warm weather. We have been crafting baskets. Yes, we've been we've been crafting baskets. Me and Mandy was again back in Morgantown today. She's doing yeah. good. Yay, 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 yay. For yep. everybody that wonders about her, her. Yeah, Patrick's. I thought that I forgot about him having a dog of his own. How did the two of them get along? Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, Remy is just the sweetest. We, Remy is a <laughs> oh dog baby. She's almost she's like Stevie, you know. Yeah. Just joyful and happy and Yeah. Yeah, Stephen picked the perfect dog for him. I know he really missed Remy a lot after the beach. She got really oh yeah, to her. so Remy's awesome. Yeah. All right, guys. All right. We got a lot of Easter baskets to go through. Um, I've, I've been Easter basketed and Easter basketed and Easter basketed. So we just wanted to bring you some different ideas in case you want to make some. You know, for your kids or just ideas in general, I'm going to use them as decorations. We're going to have our Easter dinner, Stevie, on the 8th at 3 o'clock. If you and Patrick want to come down, we'd love to have you. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Steve said they get along perfectly. Artemis, Artemis makes the three amigos. Oh, my so. gosh. I can imagine your house with those three dogs in it, all of them being relative puppies. So, yeah. yeah. I'll have to come out and see. Yep. Awesome. Yep. yep. All okay. right. We will start with, do you want to go, um, you know, tradition, where the Easter basket came from? Oh, yeah. We were doing a little research on that. It was pretty cool. We did... As she said, we did research on the origin of an Easter basket. And it says that at the uh, Lent, which is where uh, religious, certain religious people will give up something for 40 days in um, reverence of the 40 days that Jesus had to spend in the wilderness fighting the devil and it, all other types of, of temptations and stuff. So they do, they give up something. Back in the day, it was they give up a lot of stuff. They ate one meal a day, I think I read. So they, they were, it was really a hard, hardcore back then. Hardcore, yeah. So now I think you have to give up something that you really like. I, I listened to a fellow on TV, and that's the way he explained it, or the way I took he explained it. It may not be anything like that. <clears throat> so my mind, I thought the one thing that I love the absolute most peanut butter candy. Mm -hmm. So for 40 days, I did not make peanut butter candy. I had been out to Janet Case and did not eat peanut butter candy out there. It about killed me. So <laughs> I can't imagine what poor old Jesus had to do in the woods where he didn't have anything. So everybody should be extremely thankful that he managed to survive all the 
things. And if he has the courage, we can have the courage to survive little things. Yep. But at the end of Lent, according to the encyclopedia I read, when you when you got through, they would give just a small little basket with stuff in it, maybe stuff that you had give up, like I didn't get any peanut butter candy at the end of mine, <laughs> but somebody would have known they could have given me a little basket with some yeah. peanut butter candy in it. Right. So then that tradition spread across, you know, across everywhere. And the Germans were the ones that are credited for bringing it across the sea to the United States. Um, so that's, they are the ones that did the, uh, brought the tradition over here. So in the, um, in finding it, they would, the little, the kids on whatever day that was that they were supposed to do it, they would go out into the yard or the woods or something and make little nests, hoping that Peter Cottontail, a version of, Easter version of Santa Claus, would come and bring them little treats or eggs or whatever in and put it in that little nest. Mm -hmm. And then that grew into, they made their own baskets, and they would set their baskets out at night. After they went to sleep, the Easter Bunny would come and fill it with eggs and treats and whatever. So it has went various Evolved. stages over the course of yeah. time. So now the Easter Bunny brings you a basket. Yeah. You don't have to have a basket. Now, now the parents, the parents <laughs> don't have to keep those baskets year after year after year. The Easter Bunny brings it to the house with it. Uncle Brian's here. Hey, Brian. And Uncle Steve said he'll try to come down and that you're yeah. welcome to his place anytime. I will be. I definitely said Timmy and Sean are going back to work. So if I come, I'd have to bring Samuel. Oh, gosh. So that's four <laughs> dogs in your house. Do you think they'd survive? <laughs> Oh my, Sammy. Yeah, Sam, Sam ain't gonna make it by himself. Oh no, I couldn't leave him here. Anyway. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't leave him down here. I'd have to take him with me, but that's just yeah. the breaks of the game. So we have a table of baskets to show you guys. We yeah. are just like yeah. overflowing with basket goodies. So, that's all right, that's what? cool. More the merrier, he said. Oh yeah. And Janet said, howdy from sunny Florida. So Hi, Janet. Jealous. Although we're 74 degrees here today. Yes, so. we was nice. It was, well, it was rainy up in Morgantown when we went up there because mm -hmm. that storm that's coming through is is going north of us. But after we come back down through here, it kept getting warmer and warmer yeah. and more me and had turned off the heat in the car, yeah. roll the windows down. Yeah, it, it was, was nice. yeah, it got... I can't imagine when it gets to the 80s and 90s, but... Janet said it's about 87 there. Oh, my stars, Janet. I hope you got air conditioning. <laughs> right. Because oh, you probably have to have air conditioning in the wintertime. <laughs> but anyway, the first one I'm going to start with is this. I just took... A, it's actually cardboard that was the insert... To a, Chrissy got me a set of pots and pans for Christmas. So between the the frying pans, they had little, just pieces of cardboard that looked like flowers that they separated the pots with. So I took two of them and glued them together. Then this was one um, runner that you get to put on your table. Mm -hmm. I cut it apart and put it on the inside and outside. Filled it with flowers. Don't look. Don't look, that's St. Patrick's Day clover, but oh. it worked, so <laughs> it's got glitter on it. That's cute. Mm -hmm. And then I filled it with, e we filled it with Easter, e Easter eggs, so that it would complete it. That'd be a nice little centerpiece for, you know, you're having an Easter dinner or something. Yeah. You can put that around, it's really easter -y. I should have painted the cardboard, but I didn't know if it was going to work right, and I didn't want to, I'm almost out of white. Waverly white chalk paint. So I've got to get me some more. So I was spreading it thin. But uh, those are just flowers from uh, Dollar Tree. Yeah. Just come one bunch and uh, one bunch of the uh, clovers. And I just put them together. Awesome. Pam said, hello, basket is adorable. Hello, how are you? We got plenty of baskets to show you guys. Oh, yes. Tons of them. I'm just going to set this... We're going to go with your three little ones. Okay. Okay. First, we're going to show you this. Mandy made these little baskets. 
just out of a piece of cardstock paper and a glue stick. And we just filled them full of candies, you know. Yep. Just, for the, for just, the ones of us that just like candies at Easter. Uh, <laughs> that's me. That would be Haney. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, cool tablecloth, Uncle Steve says. You talk about this? Oh. The Easter eggs. Yeah. <laughs> and then here's a bigger one. Yeah, we've got some more candy in that one. This, these can probably be set around for, or given out at work, or yeah. something like that. Just you can just make them to give them out at work. I like them that they're made out of paper because you don't have to keep them. No. Like after Easter, you can throw them away, and you don't feel guilty yeah. throwing it away because it's paper. Because this is, this is made out of one of my scrapbooking books that I usually get at Michael's for anywhere from $3 to $5. Yeah. So they, and they come sometimes 24, if it's double-sided or 48 sheets of paper. Yeah. And I'm sure it didn't take a whole piece of paper no, to make them. less than a piece of paper. Yeah. yeah. So you could make a bunch of them if you wanted to give them out to your coworkers with just a little bit of candy. Right. Mm-hmm. What Uncle Stephen said? He said, or send to Uncle Steve. Or send to Uncle Steve. <laughs> yes, good. I'll put it... I'll tell you what, Stevie, I'll put it with uh, Audrey, too. <laughs> I still got her hidden over there, so you can take her. And this one, Hanny's going to show you. She's going to show you up close the flowers. Mandy went in to Cricut Design Space, and all those paper flowers, she got the uh, pattern yeah. off. And I think we're going to do a tutorial on how to make them, how to cut them, how to put them together. So that if yeah. you wanted to make different paper flowers for an event. Yeah. Yeah, I got a little short video just gluing it together and stuff. Yeah. Not not necessarily rolling all the flowers and stuff. It takes a little more a little more time, but uh, yeah. Paper flowers in a paper basket after Easter. Or if it collects a little dust, just trash it. It's I'm, just paper. I'm and this one. With these, all you need is like, you know, simple kindergarten materials. You just need paper, glue stick, scissors, a ruler. Um, it's easy. Kids could kids could do it. It's and, really easy. And the couple she put together down here doesn't take any time. So we'll just do a little tutorial on them so everybody that wants to make them. You could make these for a um, baby shower, depending on the color that you use, yeah. or a birthday party with little treats in it. Yeah. And just hand them out when you was done. Yeah. Now or a wedding. You can make white ones at a wedding. Oh, wouldn't that be around. gorgeous? Yeah, yeah cool. that would be really gorgeous. Um, hold on a second. Dad said, I may take the baskets to co-workers, but may not be any candy in them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that counts. Now, Dad, <laughs> you must give them the candy. <laughs> I'm going to eat one of your black jelly beans just for that. Oh my. I and make all kinds of faces, guys. I attempted the black jelly bean. Not, that's not for me. I can eat them. I don't like them. <laughs> but I mean, it just for you, Kimmy. Just for you. Yeah, we'll save you some. I'll save you all mine. <laughs> okay. Um, and then this one. Oh, I love that. Is done in a McKenzie child type pattern. The bottom is the bottom of the milk jug. I just painted it all white. Some of the paint's chipping off, but hey, after Easter, I can, it's another one of the disposable gifts. Pull the flowers out, put them away, throw the bottom away. Yep. It didn't cost me anything because I was going to throw the milk jug away anyway. Right. And I filled it for those, I think that's lilacs or lavender. It's purple flowers anyway. Mm -hmm. And then I put for a handle, I put a piece of that wire jute rope. Yeah. That you get at Dollar Tree Store. Awesome. I like that. That's a really nice little centerpiece. I'm going to put it over in the shelf so we can take a look at it back here. That is neat. I like that. Very nice. Now we're going to go with some more traditional ones. Let's do this one. Okay. This is just a regular Easter basket that I got. I think I got it at Dollar Tree a couple years ago. And I just filled it with different things. I've got an ink pen. We've got eggs, candy. There's some... Goodies. Something mm, else. A in lot there. of goodies in there. Yeah, there's a lot of different... different. Just you just make you take your bag and just pick you up a few little things. Yeah. Throw them in there. Yeah. That's neat. I like that. 
So if you don't want to make a basket like we did, you can just buy one by you, say $5, four bags, $5 worth of candy, put it in there, you're good to go. Yeah. That's nice for simple gifts. That you don't want to get somebody a lot of stuff. Uh-uh. But, you know, you just want a simple... Well, it's good if you have, like us, we got great-grandkids. So if you just want to put a little something-something, because their parents mm -hmm. should be the ones that get them the big something, whether it's yeah. Christmas presents or Easter presents. But you just think about them and you want to get them something little. Mm -hmm. Now these... Well, well, even me... My kids really don't eat the candy. Yeah. So you can make, you a can. little bit of candy would be sufficient and then, mm -hmm. you know, leave the rest of the Easter Bunny. Kimmy, I got that down, but that was not <laughs> any. It's like eating a pickle that I don't like either. But these are the ones that she put together, they put together while they was down here. I don't know, can they see them, Hanny? I don't think so. These are made of paper. Very easy to assemble. We made a video of it in just a few minutes. Yeah. I mean, it was. And so, the difference is the different color paper you use. Yeah. Only two sheets of paper is needed. Yeah. And she done an excellent job really with easy. the lattice work. We do have a tutorial. We, we videoed it, so we will make it in a tutorial. I want to thank all you guys for watching my Easter crafts from the last time. I'm over 800 views on those yeah. those ones we did at the last Facebook Live. Yeah. I'm amazed, guys. I'm really amazed. I'm over two. I've got 291 subscribers now and over uh, 25,000 views over the course of last year. Right. So just keep up the good work, guys. Keep it up. Yep. Keep it up. Yep. 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 If y'all don't care to take a second and hit the like button um, on the video to let us know that you like it, that really helps. Um, hold on just a second. Janet said, yeah, my kid is a little more expensive. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, but you would still probably like to just get a little Easter basket from you. No matter how expensive they are, you can just put a little little something, something in it and hand it to her. I'll bet you make her day. I really do. <laughs> Dad said, I love black jelly beans. Always. He's always gotten the black jelly beans. Always. And out of every bit jelly bean package we've ever had, we make sure. In fact, so one time I think I bought him an entire bag of nothing but licorice jelly beans. Oh, yeah. Um, and he can have them. Brian said, impressive. And Janet said, exactly. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. The bigger yeah. they are, uh, Janet, the older your kids get, the more the little things means a lot. Just you thinking about it and getting them the little things. Because <laughs> now, Brian, like Christy or Courtney, can buy the big stuff if they want to. Uncle Steve said it's time for his kids to get him Easter basket. Hey, yeah, <laughs> Stevie. We should make that a tradition. We could totally do that. We'll evolve Easter. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it backwards. So the kids have to give, because I would love to get an Easter I would love to get an Easter basket. <laughs> it don't have to have nothing in it but jelly beans and spice drops. I got to quit eating jelly beans. Before. Okay, I, I think, oh wait, one more. Um, oh, Tim, this is Janet saying, Tim, Dad would fight you over black jelly beans. Oh, I don't doubt that. And Tim, uh, Stevie Eastman, Tim, I love black jelly beans, too. It's well, favorite. see, Tim, you got a bunch of people that like your yeah. jelly beans. Right. Now, this one was another one that I bought, I don't know, a couple years ago. Oh, it's It's just a little truck. So cute. It says, Happy Easter on it. Did you put it together, or did it come together? <laughs> oh, it came together. Oh, it was okay. already put together. Okay. Got little Easter eggs on it and uh, stuff. I just put in if you can't tell, this is for a little boy. Fishing pole, a little four by four. A couple of Easter eggs, a little fire truck, and down in here is a thing of bubbles. Nice. So, oh, and there's there's just for the mothers. There's some silly putty in there. Huh? <laughs> just saying. Yeah, we do tend to play with that stuff. And then here's one 
That's exactly, the contents are exactly alike, but it's made out of a different bucket, a beach bucket. So it doesn't matter what you use, from a milk jug to, you'll see in a minute, I use a water bottle. It's just whatever you want to be creative with. Because mostly, you're either, if you get a fancy Easter basket for somebody, you're either going to, one, want to put the basket up, which takes up a lot of space, or you're going to want them to put it up. And after a while, after they've done their Easter stuff, they'll just throw it in the trash and go on. And right. expect a new one next year. Yeah. <laughs> but if you make it out of, like, this paper, yeah, you know, just put them down in a little gift card in there and say, hey, you can buy what you want, but here's some candy. Yeah, all right. And then you can throw the bag away. Right, yeah, and then the, the paper can be thrown away because it takes no time to make it again next year if they liked it, or you can make one different one mm -hmm. next year. Or if we're at Christie's, she'll hang it up in a um, frame. Yeah. Like she did your rug. <laughs> right, right. I ain't seen Aunt Banks yet. Me neither. Oh, is she missing? She's missing. She's in my group. She might be working. Yeah, I don't know. Now these two, I tried to do the same thing Mandy did. I did not do a good job, so don't laugh at me. I tried to put lattice work on this. This is a large country crock butter container. Okay. With a wire that I twisted to make the handle. And it basically has different items in it. So even if you can't afford to get a basket. Or you can't you find can one, one that you like. Yeah. Or you don't, you just want to show somebody, give somebody that's handmade. You mm -hmm. know, something that you actually put your time and energy in. Something that's, that's, you know, like Mama's quilts. Between Mom and Janet, that, those memories will never fade. So the more that you do just something nice for somebody, whether it's a co-worker, whether it's a neighbor that you have down the street, whether it's, you know, your grandkids, your great-grandkids. You know, don't forget people. Don't forget the kindness of the world and spread it. Spread it to everybody you can think of. <laughs> hey, you're being funny. I oh. guess you don't want to eat the jelly beans she stole. Anyway, this one is a small country cock one, and I made it for a fella. It's got jalapeno uh, almonds in it Ooh. with jalapeno crackers uh -huh. and then some eggs. So Awesome. Maybe Janet, she likes jalapeno everything. Awesome. Not me personally, but she does. All right, we're going to go. Oh, with... Patrick's here. Hey, Patrick. Hey, Patrick. We're doing baskets this evening. Yeah. The next pack basket is a garden. Oh, I hope that one's for me. <laughs> She's putting in her request already. I think that one. <laughs> so this one was a tin bucket that I got at Dollar Tree. The one that has a little rope on the top of it. Hanny put all of these butterflies on. They're just butterfly stickers. In it, I put a set of garden gloves, some flowers, and some little garden tools. That is awesome. Pink, so you know they're girls. Eh? So That's the boys awesome. can't take off with them. Right. Well, they would. These days and ages, who knows? That's awesome. I like that. That's a nice... Something it's, just, that, it's just a short, little, nothing. It's less than $5 to put it all together if you have to buy it. Oh, I didn't have to buy it. But it gives it. somebody something to do. Yeah. <clears throat> like, they, you know, they'll appreciate that gar those gardening tools and gloves and yeah. the seeds and it's like they're going to get excited to get started. And then when, when they, this bucket right here can keep their tools in it. So when they're mm -hmm. out there gardening, they can put their stuff in the ground and when they're out there gardening, just grab a bucket, go do whatever they need to do, bring it back, put their little tools in it. Yeah. That's and awesome. their gloves so it keeps it all contained. Yeah, I already know mom's taking that one. <laughs> Your mother may get that one today, sir. <laughs> That's pretty neat. I like that. Can't oh, now this one, I'm going to take this off because I didn't glue it on for that reason. This one, if you all watched our Easter, our snowman craft, you probably recognize this form. This was the second snowman, and Mandy still has the original. This was the second one that I had. Now, my thought was, where is that at? 
I could not find it. I knew I had seen it, but I could not find it. So the other day, I was watching my She Shed video, my YouTube video, just to watch it. Sometimes I'll turn it on just to get me some motivation to clean my house. So in that video, I seen that clear container that I put this thumbnail in. Went right out to my storage, and sure enough, I found it. So it pays the video what you do. It does it. <laughs> it pays for me to have a memory shocker. Right. So I just took it, and I put a little board from the Dollar Tree. I painted it. I painted it moss green and white. And I put a little board with a little set of bunny ears. That's just a headband. Okay, and then I took, this is a strawberry basket that I've had it since I was doing auction days. And everybody will know how long ago that was. So I just decided, oh, put the I flowers in it and set it together. It's going to make a nice little centerpiece somewhere yeah. or table right top or something. Wall, yeah. yeah, that'd be awesome. But she painted this face herself. Oh, yeah. I was going to print out the face off of Cricut, but I couldn't, didn't have any black, and I was too lazy to walk out to the shoe shed. So, I just looked at the picture, and I drew the face. It don't look too horrible bad this time. No, he's so cute. He I guess he turned out really cute. Yeah. So, we're going to set him up. I and again, I have the uh, shamrock leaves. But they had just have, a lot of people don't like glitter. Which is fine, but I love glitter. I, I mean, like it gets glitter. everywhere, but I absolutely oh. love glitter. I don't like glitter really? that much. Well, but you like farmhouse stuff, yeah. so glitter would not go in farmhouse yeah. stuff. But for my bright, brilliant stuff, glitter is wonderful. <laughs> oh, let's see. I like both. We took this one that we bought at uh, the Dollar Tree store. It's just a little little bucket filled it full of candy and Spanish moss. We'll put it up you know, that up. reminds me of, you know, how kids always want containers to put, like, lightning bugs in. Oh, yeah. Like mm -hmm. that. I think if you put a couple holes in the lid, that yeah. would be perfect for them to carry on through into summertime. It yeah. would be, yeah. Yeah. That would be awesome. But, yeah, that works. That's cute. I like that. We have so many baskets here. We do have quite a few. I think so. Uh -huh. <laughs> now this one comes off of a different, it's not really a basket. It's a box. Hand me the other box. This started out like this. So. And that is, I didn't know what that was because I don't have this is This is a sandwich box that you get from Domino's. We don't have a Domino's. We're, we're so yeah. I just kept it. And I'll, uh, I'll fix it up. i got to get the top off of it. Line it with some tissue paper. And I put a... Oh, a stationary... Notepad in it to put okay. on your refrigerator. Some candy. Some post-it notes. An ink pen with a little unicorn on it. And a pencil. Nice. So you just put that in there. Fix it all back together. Close it up. And there you go. Just a beautiful little box. Now the bottom, because I didn't want to put the paper on it because it's hard to get around those turns, I just simply painted it. This is the bottom, what it looked like. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. So I just painted it. What kind of paint did you have to use? I just used Waverly okay. chalk paint. I'm surprised she got it on here. Yeah. Because she don't have much. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I had to water it down <laughs> in order to get it done. But that's just so that you can see. Now, no... Everybody don't have to use their leftovers. It's just for us, we're we're spreading out our creativity instead of just going online, Pinterest or YouTube and carbon copying what everybody else is doing. We're trying to at least find two or three items in our stash and just redo them because heaven knows I got tons of stuff in the storage. So. But the next one that I'm getting ready to bring up was a Pinterest-inspired video. So, it's going to be the last one, I think. And the biggest. Save the biggest for last. Do we have any other questions or comments? Wait, 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 wait. wait. This is not the last one. What's the last one? These? Oh, yeah, these little ones. Oh, yeah.
We found a couple little ones hiding here. I almost got these are the water bottles. All you do is you take and you cut you a piece of fabric. You cut your water bottle down a little less than half. You glue you a piece of fabric on the bottom and a piece of felt on the top. Now it's supposed to, when you get done, it's supposed to look like a flower. But that did not work for me. I'm not sure what I did wrong. But this too is a water bottle. Just did that. And this one has doggy prints on it. Ah. And doggy treats. Doggy and doggy treats, treats inside. That's cute. So you know who this one belongs to for Easter. Huh? Thank you. That is really cute. Now you drew those footprints? No. The, okay. the, the, the fabric, the, uh, fabric had that footprint on it. Okay. Yep. Well, this was supposed to be a flower. Yeah. Okay, I don't think one. if we would have maybe ironed it or something, maybe it would have stayed down. Or put something in the middle. To make it the middle of the flower. Well, I like them better sticking up like this the way yeah. I cut that. So if I would do it again, I would put the cloth all the way around it like I did the dog one. And just cut it down at the top like a little frame. Now, to open it. To open you it, you just, I just put one knot in it. Okay. So, so you do open the top. I didn't know if you like pulled up the fabric up off the bottom. No, anymore. you just you just pull the string off of it. Okay. And then you can reach down in it. Get All your doggy right. tree. Alright. Don't tell Sam I got him though. Because I know. stitched him out of his stash. <laughs> um. He doesn't really like the big ones, so I was felt pretty sure I could use the big ones. But now he, we've got some little tiny ones that are made of pumpkin. And he loves those little tiny ones. For whatever reason, he loves the pumpkin flavor. And Anna said, yay, she must like the doggy one. Yeah. Doggy the, idea. Um, yeah, okay. A lot of people like the doggy idea. All right, guys, we're going to put the last one up. <clears throat> yep, we're caught up. Okay. Everybody's just watching. And this is like if you want to do one for your bigger kids. Yeah. Okay. Wow. I just put a roll of toilet, of toilet paper. Uh, paper towels, paper towels, some shampoo, body wash, candy. This is some more jalapeno, jalapeno crackers and eggs. Now to make this, you take a basket, those little round baskets that you buy at the Dollar Tree store or Dollar General store, and a pool noodle. I just wrap the green uh, ribbon around it just to offset the orange some. Okay. This ribbon here. That's on there with the little truck. You know, I love trucks. Mandy got me this last year at uh, Sam's. Mm -hmm. A big old humongous roll of it. And I was thinking, what am I going to use? But I went out there and I seen that. So I used that and this green ribbon here through the center. Kind of laced it in. Mm -hmm, I like that. And then just I filled it in with uh, tissue paper into the middle. So, yeah. and you so the you know, you get to a basket. Yep, and a bunch of goodies that you, you can get, actually use. You get the basket. Then use. whenever you whenever you done with it, you can get rid of everything and just cut the zip tie, and your baskets are usable. Pool noodle's still usable too because I right. didn't cut it down. Right. You just take the uh, ribbon off of it and you can use pool noodle. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So there nice. there was our just uh, baskets for tonight. We yeah. worked we worked pretty hard on getting these ideas. The baskets weren't. Difficult. Just the ideas were difficult. Yeah, we just wanted to try to find different ways where you could make baskets out of different things. And yeah, we're trying hard to use that stuff up in the. Um... Mm -hmm. Oh, what? Sean. <laughs> I was like, somebody's <laughs> hollering help. Down here. Hey, guys. It's finally here, Janet Kay. Hey, Janet. Hey, Jan. <laughs> hey. We've just been going over the Easter baskets. Let yeah. me. Let me set them all up here so you can see them. There's some back here. Here's the big one. Yep. We got a doggy one. Full of dog treats. We got one garden. full of garden tools. Yeah. You can tailor your baskets to, yep. you know, the person you're giving them to. Absolutely. Stuff. Mandy made these little... I'm, I'm hidden, but that's all right. I'm still here. I'm short. But I'm uh, <laughs> Mandy made these little paper ones. Which I think are absolutely adorable. We wanted to do something like that for your uh, Memorial Day. You know, just put little thank you gifts or something in. Mm -hmm. Or even prizes. You can wrap them up and then just stick them down in little baskets. Yep. They're, They're easy peasy. They're real easy to do. Yep. 
And you can make a whole bunch of them with one little pad of paper. She said, I love them all. <laughs> we, we, I had a good time making them. I would have liked for the ones that didn't turn out to turn out a little bit better. But, hey, I still enjoy well, making them. Well, the first them. time making them, yeah. it was hard to, you know, really get them just right. You just got to kind of do it two or three times to get it good. So. Yeah, once you get I it. I think they all turned out good. I love the flowers in that one little one that you yeah, did. I think, think that's flowers. absolutely adorable. Yeah, I liked were, making them. They, well, working with paper crafts is um, relaxing because mm -hmm. you you just manipulate the paper. Yeah. And if you don't like the way it turns out, it's paper. Right. You can feel confident just to throw that in the trash and start all over mm -hmm. again. You learn from the mistakes of the first one you made so you can make the second one good. Mm -hmm. But it's just paper. Right. It's just like when you're doing a painting project. If you paint a whole thing and it turns out that you... Oh, we was going to show those. Uh, that it doesn't turn out exactly the way you want it to. The things for Denise over in the corner. We were going to oh, show you need those wooden uh, Just paint it over and start again. It's just paint. Paint is is forgiving as forgiving as paper is. The big signs that we paint. The signs we just that ain't yeah. yeah. Now these were made for uh one of our members. Another one. But I just wanted to show you guys. Oh, I have to take it up closer. You keep them hanging. She wanted a welcome sign with sea turtles on it. I sent her a copy of the pictures. I'm just waiting to hear back from her. I think it turned for out an address so to send nice. it to. And by Christy hand, painted yeah. that, hand painted. Christy hand designed that and hand painted it. And when I put the varnish on it, it makes it look like that water is water. The welcome was just bought separate mm -hmm. you know that so it's kind of like 3d and then they've got a 3d turtle in there but everything else is hand painted she did a really good job and then the and second it is one videoed, but we ain't got it up yet yeah. so the uh, second one was requested All by uncle works. phil make sure it's hanging straight pull right. it up from the hanger pull the hanger up part there you go He wanted one that said, in this pool, we don't skinny dip, we chunky dunk. So, this is a hand, Chris, you also hand painted this one. So, it says, yeah, at the top, show the top one. In this pool, we don't skinny dip. And then she did the pool with, with a big splash. And then we chunky dunk. Yeah. So, I think it turned out real good. I think they turned out very well. Like I said, I'm just waiting on her to contact me with an address so I can get them sent to her. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, Linda K. Uh, yeah, Linda K. is here. She said hi. Uh, hi, Linda. How are you? We made baskets this evening, so yeah. we, you can go back and yeah, just take go a back look. and look at all of them. This is just one we made for garden tools. Yeah. Or, or paper, made, easy to throw we made away. This after. cute little Easter basket. I, Easter the bunny. Easter bunny basket. Isn't yep. that cute? That's so adorable. Yep. We got the basics. Okay. Well, we're 37 minutes in, so. All right, guys. You know, what's Stephen saying? That is an old, old oh, comment. Okay. It's just kind of stuck there. All right, guys. Well, I signs appreciate Signs are very mentioning. nice. Oh, Dad said signs are very nice. So, okay, guys. Uh, Linda Kay's doing good. If everybody would, um, if you haven't already, hit the like button or love or whatever you can hit on the video. And we're going to sign off. Thank you guys for being here. Yeah. You always are a Don't forget support. me on West Virginia Wednesday, yep. 1 o'clock. Yep. Uh, Brian, good job, ladies. Thank good night, you. everyone. Janet Kay. So good, night. good night, guys. See you all See next, you next week. See you next time.